Oh, what's up? Morning. Good morning. Everybody's having a great day? Yes? Yes. Check this out. Whoa, you like this? Socks, man. Yeah. You know how long it took me to make this, bro? How long? So we actually, uh, it took me like two months to finalize this whole, the box and all that stuff, man. With the, with the sock providers. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Bro, people don't know how much work goes into this whole apparel thing, man. It's crazy. There's yeah. a lot that goes into it, man. I know you spend a lot of time sewing upstairs. Whoa. I should. <laughs> hey, it saved me a lot of money. Hey, it's got the lights. Oh, yeah. So, about, I'd say about 80% of the lights are up. It's not fully done just yet, but let me show you what it looks like so far in there. It's pretty bright. I don't know if you guys can see, but it looks a little bit yellow in here. There's not so much uh, blue lights. It looks a little bit more warmer. But yeah, no, we, we literally replaced all the lights. Uh, yeah. Looks good, huh? Looks good. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're doubled up instead of single. Yeah, now, we so. doubled up on the back ones. We added some in the corners. And uh, on these, we're going to be doubling up on them. Uh, we pretty much ran out of them. That's why we weren't able to do them uh, last time they did it. But we're going to be replacing the lights up here in the, in the dumbbell section, too. Everything is getting done tomorrow. By the way, today's Monday. The 13th? Monday 13th. It's, hey, it's uh, Valentine's, Valentine's Day tomorrow. Day tomorrow. Fuck. What are you doing? Uh, we'll figure that out later. I know what you're doing. You know what I'm doing. <laughs> hey. But yeah, no, it looks a lot better. It's nice and bright. It definitely gives a different look. No, it really does, man. Well, you know, the problem that we always kept getting was that uh, the gym was too dark. Yeah. Which, which it is. It still is kind of dark, right? It definitely looks a lot brighter. But I kind of like it. It's got a different like the, feel to it. Yeah, I like the, I like the dark, the dark tones, man. You feel more awake. Yeah. No, you really do. No, it's looking a lot better, man. Oh, yeah. Hey, you know what gym does look pretty sick? So, there's a gym that's opening up. It's called Fusion. Fusion Gym. You know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, yeah. That place Where's is that nice. Place looks sick. That place looks fucking sick. I don't know. Maybe we can put like a picture of it somewhere on the screen, but it looks pretty dope. I'm actually thinking about checking it out. I think it's opening on the on the 18th of this month. Be cool. Make a little trip down there. Uh, you know? Be cool to visit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One of the things that I like it about... Uh, I just like how creative gyms are getting nowadays, man. Like they're adding more and more oh, cool yeah. stuff. Like if you go back five years ago, man, like it, it was just a gym, like just equipment and all that stuff. But it seems like the way the industry is going, it's like, you, it's getting more creative, like uh, how bigger, like yeah. every, 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 it just keeps getting bigger. Every gym, it's, like, it's kind of like a status, you know, how big the gym is and all that stuff. I believe this Fusion gym is uh, 70,000 square feet, man, which is freaking ginormous. And not only that, but the, the aesthetics of it, it looks amazing. Uh, definitely something, you know, something I look yeah, up like to. Yeah, like how they're adding like the barber shop, the restaurant. Oh yeah, they have like, a barber shop, they got a, a restaurant in there, a beauty salon, I think, and then you got the big the big gym, you know? I think that's freaking awesome, man. Yeah, it's a, cool to see how people push the limits with it. Oh yeah, no, 100%. Like, I, I love that. I love how creative everything is just getting, man. Like, it really, it really kind of like puts you on your toes, man, because you're like, oh damn, I, I want to, you know, yeah. I want to build the next big thing. Like that's freaking awesome. Oh yeah. I think uh, a lot of uh, that's pretty much where I get a lot of my inspiration when it comes to like buying, like buying the equipment, the way the way we kind of like structure the layouts and all that stuff. Just newer gyms that keep popping up, man. They keep raising the freaking bar, man. And it's, it makes it challenging to kind of like keep up with those places, it is, bro. But it's fun, right? It oh, yeah, it no, it's fun. Keeps it fun. It keeps you entertained for sure, man. Oh, yeah. But I do, I do like that, man, because uh, like me personally, I like, I like seeing growth like that because it gives you something to, some, something to look forward to, you know? Like, do I see myself being that big eventually? Fuck yeah, I do, man. I 100% do. Like, I remember when Alpine was expanding it took it took christian i think two years to, to to build that man but just watching the process and all that stuff is pretty freaking inspiring man like i love that i love i love what this is turning into man like i really do it makes it fun it keeps it interesting and uh just gives you something to freaking work yeah, towards every freaking day it's no longer enough to just have a little shack <laughs> yeah <laughs> with no. some weights no 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 so a lot of i don't know a lot of the younger generation you go back five, six years ago, gyms were not like this. Like, non-commercial gyms, it was just a hole in the wall, a very small warehouse, no AC. Maybe some did have AC, but not a lot of equipment, not a lot of anything, really. And it was strictly just gym. Gym equipment, uh, cardio equipment, and that's pretty much it, man. And that's contracts. All there was. 
What, like what? <laughs> and contracts. Oh yeah, oh yeah. No, like everything is like freaking changing and I freaking love it, man. But yeah, no, so lights, you know, pretty much up. And so, gonna do all with this what over. you've seen, like where do you think the industry is growing into? What sort of new things do you see are, are gonna develop? So, I, so back to that fusion gym, which I, I love. You guys have to go check that place out, even just on Instagram, just search Fusion Gym, it's pretty dope. Uh, what I see is, uh, it's it's turning into uh, who can build the biggest gym, the nicest gym, who can add the most amount of stuff in there, you know? Like, it's it's not just amenities, it's like a restaurant, it's like a freaking barbershop, it's a, you know, it's getting towards that. Pretty much a gym that can provide the most, even if it doesn't, if, even if it's not gym related. Like, I. I think that's pretty much where it's going. It's, it's been heading down that way. I think ever since uh, Alphaland opened up, I think they set a pretty big freaking high bar as far as gyms go, which I absolutely love the gym. I've been there once. I checked it out when it first opened. This was, uh, I think it opened up, what, a year ago, a year and a half ago or something like that. Went and checked it out. I loved it. I mean, the entrance, pretty impressive. All the, the, doesn't really have like a lot of amenities, but the layout and everything is just freaking amazing. and I. I really liked it, and we made some adjustments to to this one. You know, by me going over there and looking at it, we, ch we changed the front a little bit, just because I, I like I like going to different places, seeing what they provide, and it's like, what can I build here? How can I bring some of that stuff here? And so that's what we did. And I think that uh, for future locations, right? I like going to different spots, like bigger facilities, nice facilities, facilities that I aspire to one day. Like I want to provide something like that and just getting ideas and just adding your own twist to it, man. So, yeah, no, I definitely want to go check out that place up. Just just to get different ideas, brainstorm. Like, there's some, there's only so much your brain can come up with, you know? I feel like just looking at what other people's, you know, idea, ideal gym is, like, I just I just like seeing that. Yeah. You don't want to copy it, you just want to, you want to replicate that in your own way, you know? Just add your own twist to it. Uh, you know, same thing with the whole apparel stuff. A lot of the times, you know, you don't, you don't have to get too too creative. Like, what are people, what are companies putting out there, and just add your own twist to it, man. It's, it doesn't have to be that complicated, you know. Uh, one of uh, there's, there's a few there's a few gyms in the in the Houston area that are that I like. Uh, a few gyms that I know they're gonna be freaking huge eventually. I think one of the ones that I always like I always like look at is uh, Rain Athletics in Houston. Yeah, we, we've been there. Oh yeah, uh, freaking awesome. I got the owners are freaking cool. It's a couple. And they're killing it, man. Like, I like the content that they're making. I like the equipment that they're bringing into the facility. Like, it's just freaking amazing. Like, I, those are the people that I look at and I'm like, man, these people are really gonna fucking kill it, you know? Once they get traction and once they get enough members and enough cash flow in there, they're gonna blow that place up, man. Uh, another one that we went and visited, uh, this one, the Red Zone Gym. Oh, yeah. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Uh, and it seems like he keeps he keeps uh, expanding every other year. He's it very active, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's very active, man, and I like that. So. Usually you'll see people that invest back into their businesses, and this is just in general, not necessarily just fitness or gyms or anything like that. I've seen businesses that are constantly freaking just not worrying about how much money they're keeping or making. They're just, every, the little that they make, they pour it back into the, into the business. Those businesses stick, stick around for a very long time, man. For a very long time. And those are the ones that end up blowing up, man. So if you're a gym owner or a business owner, make sure that you're putting money back into the business, money back into your facility, equipment, whatever it is, man, because uh, customers are gonna love you for it and word of mouth is very powerful. And those are the people that are gonna be bringing more people in. A lot of people focus too much on social media and that's fine, but the people that are, the people that are, gonna, that are paying your bills are your re recurring customers. Like those are the people that you gotta take care of. Uh, you know, one of the things that we kind of like highlight here in, in my facility, right, are literally members, like people that are competing soon, uh, people that are doing like crazy transformations, stuff like that. Those are the people that we put on the on the gym page for the most part. And uh, very little that we put in like, you know, big social media people or anything like that, just because we, we don't want to base our whole business model just on people that don't really even come here, you know? We want to showcase the people that are actually here. And uh, they like that, they appreciate that. And, they bring more people in, man. You know, it's freaking crazy. So just in the, here, like, that's one of the things that I personally, like, focus on. What are the, just people in here, man, you know? And uh, I think we said this on our last video about just, you know, asking people what they want and stuff like that. And literally, it's really that simple. Just go up to people like, hey, man, how are you liking the gym so far? 
what else would you want to see? How are we doing? What can we what what can we uh, do better? How can we get better? And just literally just asking everybody, right? I think that obviously there's a there, 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 there's a line, right? You can only take so much feedback, and you can you can only do so much at a time. But as long as you keep improving, and people see that, they're going to be bringing more people. They're going to stick around for a very long time, and that's how we've been able to do everything that we're doing. And that's how we're going to continue to expand and grow and fund future products. Like these are the people that are funding those projects. These are the people that are funding those ideas. So if you focus on that, I mean, you're going to take you're going to take it very freaking far, man. Oh, this is a Lee again. God damn, bro, why is it? <laughs> He's always in our freaking videos, man. <laughs> He's a strong man. <laughs> He's looking thick, bro. He's looking thick. He's looking very thick, bro. Hey, we're gonna wait till he's done with this set. <laughs> hey, we're, we don't do this on purpose. It literally just happens to be in the background. <laughs> he's always just, he's just there, bro. Hey bro, you happen to be in our video every fucking time, bro. What's up, baby? Hey, how many weeks are you out? Five, you, five weeks. What what uh, powerlifting meet are you doing? So I will be doing the Texas Strength Classic. Uh, okay. In Spring, Texas, it'll be March 18th. Spring, Texas, that's where it is. Okay. Sure. You excited? Very excited. Gonna be first meet. Been looking forward to this since last summer. So. Hell yeah. I'm uh, I'm looking to dominate the competition. Oh hell yeah, you will, man. How do you like those new clips? Oh. You like them? Oh, perfect. Amazing. Check the new clips, man. They're freaking awesome. They're pretty cool. Hey, a lot of people don't know this, but those clips are about $200 each. A pair. Woo! They're worth it? Very worth it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I like that, Elite. Keep killing it, bro. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what if it just, like, bleep? <laughs> kind of like I did in the last one. <laughs> That'd be fucking funny. Uh, man, we've been going on some crazy rants, man. What's the powerlifting community? I mean, how much has that grown just in your own gym? Oh, it's grown a lot. I, I actually, like, we have a huge portion of powerlifters that make up, you know, our memberships. Uh, powerlifters, and then we have a lot of lifestyle people just that come in here and train, you know, because they want to feel good, they want to look good. Uh, very small of them are actually competitors for, like, you know, bodybuilding and stuff like that. But a huge portion of our members are powerlifters, man. That's why we constantly have to keep bringing in new stuff because uh, it's literally getting to the point where it's, like, starting to take up that whole section over there, man. When we first expanded, it was literally just this little midsection, bro. And now it's like taking up about half of the other side of the gym, man, which is crazy. But even if we go back to the iron, the Roman iron days, man, like a majority of our members were powerlifters. You know? That's true. Which is think, crazy, man. I think originally you wanted the bodybuilding. I wanted the bodybuilding community, man. I wanted to have like big bodybuilders, right? That's. That was my idea. That, that, that was, that's why I bought so much like bodybuilding machines. And then out of nowhere, like it just started getting crowded with powerlifters, bro. And I was like, damn. And then you started, you know, listening to what they wanted. I started listening to what they wanted. Yeah, I didn't know anything about powerlifting. I didn't know anything about what the equipment that they needed, the bars, the, the plates. It's so different, bodybuilding and powerlifting, like crazy. And uh, so I just started asking them, like, hey, like, I don't know anything about powerlifting, but what else do you guys need? And that's when we ended up. That's when we started bringing in the competition racks, competition benches, you know, the model lives, the bars. There's like a hundred different bars that they use. Like it's crazy. And each federation has their own like kind of like equipment that they need. It's crazy, man. Definitely, uh, powerlift is very needy. Uh, bodybuilders, uh, they're not too needy at all, man. <laughs> but yeah, powerlifters are freaking crazy, man. But yeah. Looks good though, man. No, 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 hell yeah. It looks really good. I like it a lot. And we got, you know, a little bit of strongman equipment. We actually just bought more logs uh, for the log section over there. Yeah, for the log section. So we're gonna be adding a lot of cool shit, man. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this rant. Thank you guys for listening. Jonathan, what else are we doing? Workout? Working out? You wanna work out, bro? Together? Yeah. Whoa. A little before the Valentine's Day workout. Let's do it, man. All right, man. All right. We'll see you guys in a minute. Hey, before we before we get started, I'm gonna show you guys something we're working on real quick. Check here. Check this out. So we're working on some crew necks. Uh, this is gonna be the back of it, and this is what the front of it is gonna look like. 
Yeah. You like it? That's pretty good. See? Yeah, nice. so we actually just hired a brand new designer. His name is Sean. He's going to be working for us now, and I'm excited that we're able to kind of like bring in more people now, you know? Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, no, so the next launch is going to be in March. I don't know the exact date just yet. We're trying to wait for all the product to get here first. Then we'll do the marketing, and then we'll put it up for sale. But yeah, just keep an eye out. I'm excited for this drop. Bro, I don't know what happened to my water bottle, man. I think somebody fucking tossed it away, damn it. It's busy, man. It's not peak hours just yet. Not yet. Not yet. But we getting there. All right, man, we're going to start out with this, uh, the T-Bar Row, Arsenal Strong T-Bar Row. This thing feels good. This is one of my favorite freaking lat, uh, rows, man. It really targets those lats. All right, we got little 25s on it. A little lightweight. Hell no, this feels heavy on this machine, bro. Yeah, the way it loads the weight feels really, really good. Hey, yo, look at that fresh haircut. Yeah. <laughs> fresh fade. Let's go, baby. Damn, that man's getting hot back there. Nothing but a peanut, baby. How's that feel good? Woo! First set is already feeling great. Yeah. We're gonna use that one right there. You see it? You see it? Oh, I Rogers. see it. Rogers. Honestly, I don't even know the freaking name for it, bro. Hey, you know, it's hard to keep up with like all the freaking names for every machine, man. It's a lot of stuff. This is actually my favorite uh, back piece, man. Like, overall, I love this thing. You know how much I pay for this thing? How much? 5,700 bucks. Whoa. Shipped. Ready to go. Hey man, brand new. As much as a little car. Yeah. You got a little car sitting here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful machine though. Oh yeah, it's just really nice. Car. Hey, you wanna know something else? Equipment, it went up a lot in price, man. Which is, it's, it's good and bad because uh, obviously we're paying more for it. But all the old stuff that I had, I mean, it's, it's pricey to get nowadays. Especially yeah. like all the old hammer string stuff. Pretty freaking expensive, man. Oh yeah. Even just like the Nautilus set, you know I had to buy all the Nautilus, uh, the, the full set, they didn't want to sell individual, uh, individual pieces. Originally I wanted to buy the chest press and, uh, and the row, which are the two that you know people are always looking for, but I had to buy all five of them, bro. I think it was like, uh, like $18,000. Uh, I believe that was with shipping and everything. For five pieces, bro. It's freaking crazy. I'm glad you like good pieces. Equipment. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad you like gym equipment. I love gym equipment, bro. It's good. Uh, it's I just like collecting it, you know. Oh yeah, it makes the experience fun. Oh yeah, bro. I whoa, whoa, bro. Three plates. You sure, you could do that, bro. I don't want to get too big, bro. I just want to be like tone and tone. Yeah. Yeah. Just I don't want to get like huge, you know. Hey, but what about that stack you're on? Ah. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh. uh. I'm gonna stick with that way, bro. That was good, bro. Uh, you pushed yourself. Bro, I feel bigger already, bro. That's how you be successful. Huh? <laughs> you said you pushed, you pushed yourself. That's how you be successful. No, it's just the gear, bro. Whoa. Trend. What kind of stack, bro? Oh, uh, just, you know, trend. That's it. Wow. Just trend. Relentless. Hey, I like that shirt, bro. Hey, it's a dope shirt, man. I love the oversized fit. You know, I hand stitched it myself. Hey, y'all don't know it, bro, but George has got a sleeper physique. Show us a video of you doing uh, curls on your phone. Whoa. Y'all don't even know what this guy looked like, bro. Bro? For real. Oh, yeah, we ain't looking. Look at this shit, bro. 
Like, look at. Was he shooting George, that bird? Bro. I'm telling you, man. Just good old trend. <laughs> That's, that'll get you there. You know, people have it wrong, bro. They'll like do tests and trend. Bro, just do trend, you know? Do trend and you'll be swell, bro. 500 milligrams a week. That's it. Wow. You don't even have to eat good, bro. You can just do whatever you want and you'll just stay shredded. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take all that advice. All that trend. And I'm just gonna take it. I mean, I feel great, bro. Yeah. You look great. Yeah. Bro, you just broke it. You just broke it, bro. You gotta pay for that, buddy. <laughs> I got you, buddy. Hey, yo, what machine is this? This is a standing row machine. This is actually one of my my favorite pieces before that one came in. Uh, yeah, I like this one. It's kind of like that one, the hammer string one. But instead of sitting, you're just standing. So it's pretty freaking good, man. A lot of people love this thing. Oh yeah, I like the concept. Nice. And it's more adjustable. Oh yeah, very Here, adjustable. There, up and down, outwards. Like me, you know, I'm 6'1", so I mean, you can still go even more, bro. You know? You mean 5'1"? Uh, no, 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 6'1", bro. <laughs> I put that on my tender. Hey, are those new? Oh yeah. You got new plates? Yeah, John, I got new fucking plates, bro. Look hey, at you that. act like I work here or something. You do work here. You don't pay attention, man. <laughs> Brand new plates. Hey, yeah, they're nice, too. So slick. They're squeaky. Squeak. Check this machine, bro. crazy because you can actually feel your glute activating while you're doing this so it's like you're working out your lats and your glutes at the same time you know super so, setting at the same time so that's really good squeeze them harder yeah you gotta squeeze the glute and get that full stretch on your hamstring okay bet yeah bet i got you bro. give it a try bro i got you here give it a try Good. Woo! My glutes are on fire, baby. Oh, the back coming through. Word of advice. Uh, you gotta hop in it while you're young, man. Because when you're old. You're old, and when you're young, you're young. So how much are you taking a week? Just a little bit of test, bro. Uh, 250, you About know. 250? TRT. Yeah. And uh, I'm also taking a little bit of growth, just the basics. Oh, dang, bro. Yeah, bro. Dang. Oh, uh, camera's still on, bro. Oh, Hold up. What we got here? Uh, we got a bisolateral bicep curl. It's pretty good. She's ancient. She's very old. Flex Fitness. Very old school brand. You see that? Flex Fitness. Right next to it, Flex Fitness. Flex Fitness. Oh, no, right? that's a flex. Yes. All right. When you opened the first location, Roman Iron, did you feel like prepared to be the owner? Or did everything just kind of like come at you one at a time? No, everything just flew past me, man. I was, uh, I was, uh, honestly, bro, I wasn't even there. Like, my mind was, like, somewhere else at that time. Because I, I felt like I was going, going for years prior to that. And then just seeing it there, I was just like, fuck, you know? It was a lot to take in. So, uh, no, it was, uh, it was a weird feeling, man. I was tired. I was like, because finally seeing it like put together and it's like, oh shit, not what? You know, and you're like, you feel relieved, but at the same time you're like, oh fuck, like I gotta, it's just getting started, you know, we gotta, we gotta blow this place up. So, 
Yeah, it's a weird feeling. I don't even know how to describe it, man. But it was like a combination of a, of a lot of things, man. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what to do next. I was just lost. And then I had like, I, I, you know, employees and people that were relying on me and that were counting on me for this thing to work. So I was like, damn. So no, it was just a lot, a lot going on, a lot to take in, but yeah, somehow we managed, man, really. Is it like you just figured it out as you went, right? Like, oh yeah, a no, 100%. Game? Yeah, and that's everything in general, right? You're never gonna know, you're never gonna know what, what the, what the, what the right plan of action is. I like, just have to, just go, you just have to act. That's really the, the, the thing. Because sometimes you feel like you try to perfect everything, and, uh, and sometimes uh, that can keep you from opening up your business, that can keep you from becoming profitable. You're too focused on perfecting a product or a service, whatever it is, right, that you sometimes get lost in there. So you just have to do it. You just have to open up and uh, fix it as you go, perfect it as you go. And uh, it's better that way because then you'll get people's feedback. And uh, a, lot of the time, a lot of the times you have this idea, of, like this perfect idea of this product or whatever, right? And uh, the reality is that that could not be it, and you have to be open to changing things up, like what's what's actually working, what do people actually want, and sometimes it goes against what your idea of, of this product is, and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I would suggest make adjustments as as you know people keep suggesting, because they I mean you're building something for people, right? So take their advice, adjust. As you know, ask questions. Uh, what do the, what do members want to see, and uh, just adjust accordingly, man. But sometimes people get so caught up on like this idea of their product of how it should be and how it's gonna be, and sometimes that's just not it. So being able to adjust and adapt, freaking important. And a lot of people make decisions to do something, but they never follow through. So like, what was it about you where you made a decision but you followed through with it? Really, I, I feel like I feel like me personally. Uh, I have really nothing to fall back on, man. So I didn't, I didn't go to college. I uh, finished high school up, you know, I got my diploma and everything. But as far as that, uh, there was really nothing else that I wanted to do. Like I wanted to do something in the fitness industry. And then, you know, I came up with opening up my own gym and I had like this idea of how I wanted it to look and how I wanted it to run and the people that I wanted to go in there and train, but it didn't, you know, uh, I just kept holding on to those thoughts and th that idea and it just every day you just work towards it, you know? And uh, you know, we'll, we'll probably make another video going over like the things that I had to do at the time, two and a half, two and a half years prior to opening up Roman Iron, like all the freaking work that went into it, how did I even find equipment and stuff like that, how did I even fund it, the equipment? Because I think that's something that we've never talked about before. Yeah. So. Uh, We'll discuss it on the next video. We'll make a whole separate video. Uh, you know, so if you're still watching the video, thank you, I appreciate it. And uh, probably the next video that we make, we're probably gonna talk a little bit more in depth of how I came up with the money to open up the first location, because it was not easy. I mean, I started this journey when I was 20, and it literally took me till I was uh, 23 to be able to pull this off. So, uh, there's, yeah, there's a lot of crazy things that went into it, a lot of work, and a lot of just figuring things out. And, uh, but yeah, so that's, we're gonna put that in the next video, so definitely keep an eye out for it. All right, one last thing before we end the video. Uh, I do plan on making, uh, you know, more YouTube videos. Uh, as far as content goes, like, I'm curious to know what you guys wanna see, you know, ask some of, some, some of the questions that you guys may have, whether it is business, whether it is, you know, personal life, whatever it is, like, I'm, I wanna answer that, and I, I, I wanna continue making this. I really enjoy doing it, so. Whatever questions you guys have, please let me know. Comment section, DM me, whatever it is. Follow me on Instagram and definitely subscribe because uh, we're going to be posting some juicy stuff. Right, John? That's right. Yes, sir. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you again.